Timu is a topic of controversy amongst the fishing community. Blatant ripoffs at a cheaper price undercut the original producer. However, there are times when you simply can't beat the bang for your buck. And in this case, that's the Timu knockoff of the Mega Bass Sleeper Crawl. What I like to call the cheaper crawl. We've delved into this polarizing topic before with decent success, but now it's time to put the final nail in the coffin for this debate. This is one of the best days I've had on the water as far as quantity and quality, and it was all thanks to this $2 Timu knockoff. Everything from unusual deer behavior, oh, I'm going up here to catch some smallies, okay? Yeah, you don't have to worry about me. To multiple Lapod River smallies. All of that and more. Tired or not, let's give it that. <laughs> Spit on that thing. On this episode of Tackle Jocks. to another episode of Tackle Jocks. Today, we are at the beautiful South Holston River, one of my favorite fisheries for bass fishing on this planet. If not my favorite, we're gonna be throwing this right here. This is the Timu Cheaper Crawl, the Timu knockoff of the Sleeper Crawl by Mega Bass. And if you guys haven't seen the video of us testing these out and giving them a run for their money, then be sure to check that out right up here. But today, we're gonna be using this color right here. This is one of the darker colors they have. It's like a red plum. It's got some purples and blues in it and should be the money for these smallmouth. But we've also got some moving baits we're gonna try out. This is the Damiki Vault. As you can see, this one's a little bruised and battered, but that's what we're gonna be throwing it today if we lose it. That's okay, but I guarantee, even though it doesn't have an eye on either side of this bait right now, this will catch bass still, 100%. This has become my favorite lure. Favorite lure of 2024, the Mickey Vault. Half ounce version. This one's the gold, but uh, you can also do the one that's like black and blue. I don't know the exact color names, but I'll have them linked in the description. And last but not least, we have an old classic for this river. It's the Chase Base Drunken Mullet. This is the smaller version. I like to throw the big version, but we're gonna see if we can get some big bites on a smaller profile. And this one is brand new. I literally just got it out of the tackle box. She has never been tied on and we're gonna be using her today to hopefully catch some hog smallmouth. We're going for smallmouth that are over three pounds, 18 inches, lap hog status. And I honestly think this is gonna be the best profile for the top water bite out here on this river. But guys, I think that's enough talking. Look at how gorgeous this river looks right now. We got some nice overcast, but it's gonna burn away. As that sun rises over the hilltops, you can already see it trying to peek through right now. So let's go out and take advantage of these low light levels here on the South Olsen River. bite of the day. But this would be the first and last topwater bite of the day. I did try it in a few more spots, but this next fish would start a chain reaction for the rest of our day and lead us to one of the best fishing days that I've ever had on the South Olston River. There's a bass. I can feel this bass eat, man. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. Hey buddy, just calm down for me, okay? Yeah, that's what we needed right there. And he just spit a good old Timu crawl. Well, we're going straight in to where we wanted to fish. But look at that, that's the first bass 
starting our day. I'd say that's a 17 incher all day. That's absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, that actually just rejuvenated my spirits. I know, buddy, we're gonna set you free. Look at that, boys. It's a beautiful bass. Wow, so feisty, too. I'll see you later, buddy. All right, guys, we are pretty much at the juice now. It's only like a 10 to 15 minute float down here from the launch spot. I'm sure most of you are wondering why I'm not casting right now because this is looking mighty juicy right here. And that's because it's not in the game plan. What we like to do is go down the North Fork side right here and go around the tip of Phipps Island, come back around and be casting upstream and working back downstream in all of this. Let me not cast one out here. I might as well try it. Yeah, if you guys have seen any of my videos before, especially fishing this section of the river, then you know. This is the routine that we always take right here. We're going to take it again, even though we're throwing some different presentations today. We're going to try out some top water. Ooh. But to give us the best chances, I'd like to go down and around and be casting upstream, even though it's really shallow today. It's going to be a shallow day. Usually this rock is almost submerged right here. This reference rock right here is just jutting up, and it's going to be like this pretty much all day so it should be a really easy day to get around in there so if this spot doesn't pay off for us we can go and try some more spots as well later this evening that's a good bass wow look at that oh. wow dude this one is going ham right now. Look at that. Oh, wow, I didn't realize he was that big. That is crazy. <laughs> Look at that, boys. That is almost for sure a lap hog right there and a beautiful hook set. Yeah, Timu Cross coming in clutch again, boys. Let's put this guy on the board and see what he goes. Ooh, not quite. Definitely fat enough to be a lap hog, but only going 17 and a half. I'll take a picture of you guy on the board though. This guy gave us a crazy fight. Alrighty boys, look at that. Just a gorgeous bass right there. Appreciate you buddy. See you later. Alright guys, we made it up to the spot where we're about to start wading and fishing. But before we can do that, one of my plugs came undone on the float down here. I have no clue how it could have happened, but now the kayak is full of water and we gotta sit here and empty it. So let's get to it. Plugs out, now we gotta empty it. Gotta load it back up and then we're good to go. We can actually start getting out here into these shoals, casting and catching. All right, let's get out in the water, boys. Literally just spit the crawl, Dad. Look at that. This bass ate it right in front of me. He's blind in one eye. Actually got him blind on this side, but look at that. Just a beautiful bass all around. Nothing huge, but hey, <laughs> this guy is keeping us hooked up right now. So we much appreciate you, you beautiful South Hilton taco. Throw into my five pounder, please. Yeah, I'll let you go. <laughs> 
Went between my legs. How cool is that? Literally ate it right in front of me right here. Yep, there's a smallie. Oh wow, it's a hog smallie. Stay down, don't jump. He's literally just sitting in this current. Wow, come over here please. Oh, wow, that's insane. Oh, stop that, stop that. Wow, yo, how crazy was that? Yeah, buddy, that is a beautiful smallmouth bass. I don't think this one's gonna go quite lap hog status, but he's definitely fat enough. So this is a bass like right under three pounds, and I bet he's gonna be under 18 inches, probably like 17 and three quarters. But to be thorough, we're gonna give him a check anyway. Let's toss him on the board. Look how fat this fish is. Oh wow, actually only 17 incher. At least 17 on the dot. Oh, he almost made it out, buddy. <sighs> Man, that's a chunky small mouth right there. This one will grow up to be a five pounder. You just, you already got the gluttony in you, my friend. This beautiful bass right here has been documented. Let's make sure he's okay and ready to hit the water again. In fact, we're gonna go underwater for this release right here. little smallie certainly gave me a run for my money huh just dipped it right over a rock this little smallie couldn't resist it absolutely slammed this cheaper car right here look at that they are all over this one today and another gorgeous smallmouth bass this is a youngling you can tell this one doesn't have a very big mouth at all he is just a gluttonous smallmouth to be his size smallie right here it's another gorgeous addition to the day right here just a beautiful smallmouth Little fatty. Appreciate you, buddy. It's crazy how in the current they are. I mean, I literally caught him off of this second U right here. I just cast it in. Just brought it down right over the rock. Boom, slammed it. Oh, that's a good small ape. Stay down, please, sweetheart. Stop scaring me. Wow. Oh, man. That is crazy. These smallies are going insane today. Let's pull the yak up here and turn her around. Look at that, boys. That is another quality river smallmouth. Timu crawl, tomp whip, hook set, and it pops right out. Does it really get any better than that right there? Look at that, that's a gorgeous bass. Make sure he's okay and we'll send him off. Current's pretty strong right here. All right, let's, send him. let's let him go, boys. Beautiful bass. Just coast right back down.
What is this? It's a good smallie is what this is. It's a really good smallie. Oh my god. This thing has got some freaking shoulders on it, man. Stay down, buddy. Oh. Oh my god, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah. That's it right there, boys. That's the kind of fish we were after today. Oh, wow. Look at the head on that smallie. Wow. That is a gorgeous smallmouth bass right there. Easily. First lap hog of the day. Man, this is a little brute. Look at that, boys. And there's the Timu Cheaper Crawl. Get a quick measure on this bass. Yep. That is easily 19 and a half. But the bottom fin is touching 19 and three quarters. Wow. Look at that for a bass, man. That is just a gorgeous fish right there. Beautiful river smallmouth. Okay, buddy. I promise we'll let you go. Alrighty, boys. Let's go ahead and send this gorgeous bass back to where she belongs. Wow, what a head on this bass. At the time, I couldn't quite pinpoint why, but I knew this bass looked familiar, and after further review, it's all so clear. Simply put, this is not the first encounter I've had with this bass. On our first outing with the Timu Cheaper Crawls, this lap hog ended our day in a spectacular way. You can tell this is the same smallie in a few ways. The spine missing from the dorsal fin is the same size and proportions, and most importantly, it has the same patterns. Using my left thumb as reference, you can see the aligning images that are being blocked. The U-shaped pattern is in the same location on the base of the tail and start of the body on both images. So, in a poetic kind of way, the last lap hog of the day on the first outing is the first lap hog of the day on this one. And since I always practice catch and release, you too have the opportunity to run into this bass in the waters of the South Pole Scenario. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I just don't trust you going down on this rapid. This should be a little better on you. Is this better? Oh, okay. Yep, I think she's good to go. There we go, boys. That's what we needed right there. Yep, there's a smallie. This is a pretty good, yep, yeah, this is a pretty good fish right here. Oh, he had me wrapped on something. Oh, just come here, buddy. Oh, he's trying to get me around this rock. He has me around the rock. Oh, come up here and stay down. Oh, yeah, there you go. They are just today, boys. I think it was this big. That's actually a decent one right there. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a gorgeous smallmouth bass right there. Coming up and eating the cheaper crawl. I mean, they are all over it. That is probably another 17, 16 and a half, somewhere in there. Oh, you know what? Out of curiosity, let's just check. Let's check and see. Yep, 17, 17 and a quarter, actually. Absolutely gorgeous bass right here, though. He's been scarred up by something, so. Let's not keep him out of the water long. Let's make sure he's surviving and thriving. See when you're a five pounder, buddy. Slide into oblivion. This fish literally ate it right in front of me. As so I was swimming it back. Oh. He's going ham in these rocks trying to get me off. Oh, stop head threshing, buddy. I know, I know. Stop head threshing. I'll help you. There you go. Yeah. Look at that, boys. That's another one. 
in the books. Literally almost the exact same spot. Look at that, another quality smallmouth bass. I mean, coming out of the river, that is just a fun bite right there. And look at how melanistic and dark. Oh, this might be the first one we've had some trouble popping out here. Ah, there we go. There we go, we got you, buddy. Just a gorgeous, dark, bronze bass. Appreciate you. Another South Holston taco. See you later, buddy. Wow, I didn't even feel this bass eat. He just came off. chasing that's even bigger oh he just smacked into the rock i'm sorry buddy okay there boys i mean that is textbook not a big small eye, but this is pretty much like fishing a creek this is the north fork side i decided to swing back around here i'm gonna slow down a little bit got some good bites here this morning apparently they're stacked up on this side look at that another little quality river smallmouth came up and slammed it too watch this he's gonna bolt off pew there he goes <laughs> right back out so fun so fun that's the size that i'm used to catching in the clinch and the pal about 14 15 inches but we come over here for the bigger ones of course we're going to catch some that size regardless you got to weed through the small ones to get to the big ones that's pretty cool we will take that bite any day i thought i was getting pecs right there Yeah, that's crazy. You know what? You deserve to run free. That was a <laughs> sick eat and a sick jump. How crazy was that? Oh, we gotta find this now. We just snapped off. I think he must have run us over some rocks right there. I know it landed in this area. Oh, we're gonna have to sit here and look for it now. After about five minutes of looking for this lure amongst the rocks, I was unable to find it, so I resorted to just tying on a new lure and casting back out there. Yep. Wow. There you go. Whoa, dude. <laughs> These smallmouth, man. I mean, that just fills you with joy. There's no other words for that. It doesn't even matter that I lost that fish. That was so cool just to see. Yep. Are you okay? I see you, buddy. I see you. Wow. Look at him peel drag, man. Okay. Let's calm down, big guy. I see you. Yeah, you've made your point, buddy. Wow, jumped into the net. <laughs> oh, you're a jumper, buddy. You are a jumper. Look at that little chunky smallmouth. Just jumping like crazy. Come on the cheaper crawl, boys. Oh, he pops right out. Look at that, just a gorgeous small mouth. Appreciate you, buddy. Look at that, guys. If you look a little bit into the background, you'll see on the other side of the river over there, there's a doe waiting just like us. Like I said in many of my videos, they are the residential waiters of the server system. I'm just coming in and borrowing space from them. Probably the mama to that fawn we saw earlier. Look at that gorgeous fawn. Man, this is the place that never skunks. Hey buddy, it's okay. He's just been sitting here waiting on me to go by. I think I got a little too close. Kind of upset him. He's gonna retreat into the forest now. On the Phipps Island, you see a ton of deer out here. 
but it's very rare to see a fawn, especially this time of year. It's the end of June. July is in a couple of days. Man, we are in summer. Oh, guys, he's already disappeared. <laughs> I looked away for one second. There you go, she's getting out on the other side now, underneath that log that's overhanging. Whew, not gonna lie, I am a bit jumpy right now. Just because I know there's a giant snapper in these grass beds somewhere. We've seen him on multiple occasions. And I'm eventually gonna get back in the act to avoid him. Just wanted to slow down a little bit, that's one good reason. They should always bring a tether with you when kayaking in a river system. In case you want to slow down, you can go hands-free just like this. I'll be fishing out here. Just have the kayak tethered to you. Have all your gear, even the net, right in front of you, ready to go. But still out of the way to where you can cast easily. And bring the fish in. was a largey, little tiny guy. Oh, he got off. I didn't even see that bass. <laughs> But on the start of our second lap, we ran into a crazy wildlife encounter. Now, it's not atypical to see deer on this section of the river, but it is atypical to see four. And this mother doe was not having it with the harassment of her fawn. Yeah, get out of here, Spike. It's okay, I'm right here. This mama doe did not like that Spike around here. You messing with your babies? All right, I'm going up here to catch some smallies, okay? Yeah, you don't have to worry about me. you start you've already put up such a good fight already okay nice it's another tiny little bass coming on the cheaper crawl i might just slam bass of all shape and sizes look at that a little smaller appreciate you buddy yeah adios all right so the jig head has become detached from the body the actual hook is just too exposed right now i know it's going to get hung if i keep throwing it like this so we're going to switch crawl dads really quick <clears throat> tight or not let's give it that Puh. spit on that thing all right she's good to go again let's chuck her back out of there What a fight, dude. I'm telling you guys, these fish are absolutely jazzed today. Look at that. I mean, that is actually just picture perfect right there. How beautiful is that? That might even be the thumbnail. <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is a Soho taco. We appreciate you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate us, that's for sure. Another smallie. Another pretty solid one too. Those are good head thrashes. Yeah, look at this one. That is a little bruiser, dude. This one's not lap hog. But he's certainly a tank for his size. Just a straight up football this one is. Come over here, buddy. 
Oh, he's still not done. He's close though. Oh, I just pulled him over the net. Oh, I just did it again. There we go. We got you, buddy. What a freaking fatty, man. That is a fat small mouth right there. Woo, doggy. Okay, that for a small mouth. It's not very long, but just totally stout. Very cool to see these fish in here. I'm telling you guys, these are just straight up footballs eating. Good old cheaper curl. Put this guy on the board just to see what he goes. I'm gonna guess like 16 and a half. Uh, more like 15 and a half, that was an inch off. Look at that football though. <laughs> I mean, that's just a fatty dude. Yeah. Look at that little bruiser. Bruiser of a small mouth. Let's see if he'll let me taco. Look at that, we'll have to get that for the thumbnail. Woo, calm down buddy. We're letting you go back, okay? Yeah, we appreciate you. Throw into that five pounder for me. God. Oh, tell me I still have this fish. I do, I do. Wow. Stay down, buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's built a little bit different. <clears throat> Gonna have to be careful on this one. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god. Boys. Timu Crawdad. It's getting it done. I mean, it's just straight up bruiser after bruiser at this point. Oh. Yeah. This one is easily the biggest of the day. Look at that bass. Now that is a smallmouth right there. That is just a stout fish. Oh, doggy. Might actually be the thumbnail. He was wrapped up like crazy. Look at that for a smallie. Whew, this one's gonna be pushing four. He just got a, yeah, he's just got a head on him. All right, let's get everything set up and out of the way. Oh man. This is a 19 inch bass. We didn't get the lap hog pick, so we'll have to get it from this. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. You can't even be upset, really. Beautiful bass, though. Beautiful bass. Oh, at least we got him on the board. Got to see what he was. Give me that hot. A good smallie too. Wow, it was such a good take. Oh. Oh. Come back up here. Stop doing that. Oh my god. Get in the net. Thank you. Oh my god. That's another bruiser, boys. That right there is another bruiser. Look at that for a small mouth. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, I cannot believe my luck today. We've had some setbacks. We've had to drain the yak a few times. We've lost a couple lures. And it's been hot almost all day. But this fish right here and the fish before have made it worth it. Just gorgeous. Wow. That is a 19 and a half. Where's that mouth, buddy? That is a chunker of a smallmouth. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Just a beautiful fish. Oh, I know, I know. 
see you later, buddy. There's a the smallie. I mean, it's practically back to back with these little small mouth in here. This one has a flesh wound. Sorry to see that, buddy. We're gonna send you on your way fast. Look at that little taco. Beautiful bass. Yeah, appreciate you, big guy. Was a hog smolly <laughs> and that was a crazy bite. Yep. That's a smolly. Oh he got off, he got off. Oh, he came back and hit it the second time. Oh, get out of the current. Stop jumping. Nope. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I just had a feeling. Stay down, don't you jump. Come up here. Look at them peel drag, boys. It's just crazy how strong these river smallies are. This isn't even that big of one. Oh, he just spit the lure. Hey, buddy. Nice. We got you. We got you. Like I said, this isn't even a giant. Not even that big. And you just gave me a run for my money. These smallies are so cool. Freaking love these Soho tacos. Appreciate you, buddy. Adios. Wow. Oh, no, that head shake did me in. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Look at that. Stay down, buddy. Come here and stay down. Oh, stop doing that. Nice, lucky there, boys. Another quality little smallmouth. 
coming on the Timu crawl. The dark cheaper, whatever you want to call it, this thing is the money for these river smallies. I mean, look at that. Just another freaking football. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. I'm sending you back. There you go. chasing too. Not a big fish, but that was a solid take. There's a smallie. That small either. Wow, hey buddy. <laughs> Can't even be mad. No way. Yo. <laughs> Hooked that fish, he got off and he literally came back and ate it. How cool. Yeah, buddy, it's another quality river smallmouth right there. Another two pounder in the books. Another 15 to 16 incher. Just a fat river taco right there. Look at that. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Cheeky little devil. Got in the net and somehow spit it. Gotta respect the hustle though. Honestly astonishing this little guy right here is even able to choke down this cheaper crawl oh yeah I see you buddy there you go cheaper crawl little Soho taco appreciate you buddy Okay.
Oh, it's a bit small. Like, peel and drag. Just need you to stay down for me, sweetheart. I'll take you over here, okay? Oh, this guy, he's definitely gonna jump again right here soon. He's in this current right here behind me. They just walked him out of the current like a dog. Oh, wow, this one's actually a lot better than I thought he was. Yeah, that is a bruiser of a smallie right there. Look at that, boys. Does it get much better than that? That one actually might be a lap hog right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. This is a... Oh yeah, that's lap hog status right there, boys. 18 on the dot. Beautiful dark green smallmouth. Oh, look at that for a taco. <sighs> Almost lost him. All right, boys, let's go ahead and send this beautiful green smallmouth back to where she belongs. I know. That's a bruiser right there. There's a smallie. Oh, he spit it right here in front of me. boys we got him a little bit quiet on that one i was concentrating pretty much had to though this small right here is giving me a run for my money yeah looky there boys it's another gorgeous smallmouth bass there you go, big guy appreciate you after this fish, we were able to produce a few more bites, including another Laphog River Smalley. Unfortunately, we weren't able to land them though, and that draws us to the conclusion of our day. Easily one of the best and most memorable fishing days I've ever had on the South Olsen River, and it was all thanks to this Timu crawl dad. So the next time you see something on Timu and you think, hey, maybe that could catch a Hog River Smalley. Hopefully this video gives you the confidence to go ahead and spend that $2, because you never know, you might just find your new favorite lure. Wow, that's a good old smallie. Like a three, four pounder right there. Hey guys, Logan here, and thanks for watching this video. If you guys made it this far, then be sure to hit the like button below, it really does help out. And you might as well subscribe so you don't miss any fishing content just like this. If you guys enjoyed this episode of testing Timu lures, then be sure to check out this video right here for more Timu fishing challenges.